Right, rear bumper cover for the Land Rover Defender. Let's take a look. This is, this is an interesting video. Well, as interesting as a rear step can get. Right, so on your Land Rover Defender, you have this lovely, not really, not really lovely. This, this is your worst enemy, this silver step. A is silver and we're trying to purge the Defender of silverness, aren't we? Yeah. We're not into silveriness. Right, but it's also Land Rover. Let me ask you a question. Why, why did you design a rear bumper on a Defender that slopes and is super slippery? Why, why didn't you make it square? Like that, so that I could stand on it without sort of... It's just horrible. Right, anyway, I love Land Rover really. I just like to challenge them from time to time. Big kisses for Land Rover. Right, so we had a good idea, didn't we, Tyler? So Land Rover do do, do do, a checker plate top that sticks on here. And it looks checker platery and, but it, it leaves a board around the edge. It doesn't cover, cover this edge. Well, you can see in my antics here, I've already scraped it. And there is another little thing here that not a lot of people notice on the old Defender. Can you see this little protrusion? This little proboscis here. This is a washer jet for your rear camera. Hello, camera. Um, and it virtually, it's, it's, it virtually protrudes. So we set about designing a super cover step. Look, we've chipped the paint there as well, Tyler. And this is what we produced. And it was revealed <laughs> about 18 months ago. And we will go more into that. We now have these. So this is made from polypropylene plastic. And it comes with self-adhesive pads. And it goes on here, like so. It's not that complicated, you would think. And there we go. And we've, we've put this little bevel here just to give you a bit more distance so that as you're rubbing your leg here, you're less likely to catch the washer jet. Comes on, we've got our HSX branding. It comes around the corner and it meets this panel at the top. Now, it turns out making long bits of plastic is quite complicated. So when you injection mold a piece of plastic, this is injection molded, when it, when it cools down after being molten plastic injected, it does shrink a little bit. And we have been playing with the shrinkage rates on the plastic quite a lot, which is why it's taken us the best part of a year to get this into production. Now, the consequence of this is we had to balance a couple of things here. So I, I do want to go through this. But basically, if you're bored already, it's a stick on cover. So you, you can get it um, if you're more interested. Now, originally, we did get in this gap along here. Uh, this silver gap is quite visible. So we were originally going to try and get it to go on top like so but that was really hard to get it on top so we've we've sat it here but we wanted this edge to meet close up to that one there so what we've got is this edge meets quite closely when you stick it on but the consequence of that is there is a gap here because we didn't want it to stop on this bit before that bit and there are some differences in the bumpers so I could have said to you, well, it's for water to drain out. And Tyler did say, well, when we took the 3D printed one off, which was a precise, accurate fit for our vehicle, there was water trapped under it. So if you look, we do have a slight overhang around here. Don't look too closely. Um, there is a slight overhang here. It's like a water drip feature. Now, it's only a cover, so don't panic. It sits there. It will protect your bumper. Right. So let's fit this. The other idea we were playing with, where you see this little silver, well, you can hardly see the silver gap, can you, Tyler? But if you wanted to, we were wondering whether you could put a black marker pen behind there just to hide any gap. But I think sometimes we overthink things, Tyler. Yeah. Yeah, right. Too much overthinking. So there we go. We have got a tough rear bumper cover. It has got self-adhesive pads. Now, if you are going to stand on this, now I'm going to do the disclaimer. We don't advise it. You probably want to use like a polyurethane adhesive, um, something like Tiger Seal, which would stick this on and it would never come off. We are going to use silicon because you can stick it on, but you can sort of peel it off. But it will be much better in the cold temperatures and stuff. So the adhesive pads will give it the initial strength, but do not stand on it for 24 hours. And even then, be very cautious. Right. And that goes for the genuine Land Rover one or R1 because it's still sloping away. So regardless of if this stays in place, you are going to be slipping. Right. 
So before you go pulling off the tape, check you've got it fitted. And obviously with the tape on, you've got to think how are you going to do it? So I think we're going to lift it up at this back edge, slide it in there, and then plop it down for everything to stick. Right, let's do this, Tyler. It's a beautiful bit of design. It's just getting all the tolerances right on a long product is really tricky. Oh, what did you say, Tyler? We do need to wipe it. You're absolutely right, Tyler. All right, and so you could have been. Right, as Tyler pointed out, the correct way of doing it, if you're up against the clock, <laughs> you they always know it all, don't they? Right. He is right on this occasion. <laughs> okay, it dissolves, it dissolves our marker pen. So. Right. right, we are going to give that all a... And that will get rid of all the slimy silicon stuff that we've put on there. Right then. Right then. Right then. So you need to let that evaporate. While that's evaporating, tube of silicon adhesive. Now bear in mind, the biggest gaps are here. So you don't want to be putting too much. These are your drip water there, but everything else should be in fairly close contact. And where you're going to stand. The other thing we were discussing was if you put it in, if you open it first, if you put it in streaks this way, then any water can find its way out to the edge, which I thought was quite a good idea, but it was my own idea. Mm -mm. Right there. A bit on the corners. Right, and I'm going to put a bit there because it's tight there, isn't it, Tyler? Yeah. And then it's tight along this edge here, isn't it? But I don't want to go too close to the edge in case it squidges out. And what do we need if it squidges out, Tyler? No Baby wipes. I've been lush. Right. Are you happy with that now, Tyler? Yeah. He's happy. Approval. Right. So let us lift it up at the back. Right, get that. There we go. So it is on there. It is on there. That's it. <coughs> Bash. Right. Uh, leave that. 24 hours. Is there any squidged out? No. No, but there is a little gap at the bottom. But there we go. That is the, tr the rear bumper. And that will protect your rear bumper. That will make it less slippy for you and the dogs. Apparently the dogs are finding it slippy. Right, here's a random... Here's a random sheeps, yeah. Here's a random thing. Someone said to us, is this a good idea? They said, could you make a little bung to block this, Simon? Because when the dog gets out, they're worried a dog's going to get his paw stuck in that. And so that is something we're going to do. That's one of Zach's little projects. Right. Now, I do need one more thing. One more thing, Tyler. Come down, come down, come down. So, <laughs> when we designed this, we, we designed it and we forgot we designed these toe surrounds. So, if you've got our original toe, toe surrounds, they go up a little higher. And so the two clash. So we've actually designed a low profile toe surround that is compatible with this. Now we'll have to try and work, work out a way to, to sort of, what's the word, Tyler? So we'll, we'll try and offer these at a reduced discount if you bought the other type so that you're not having been an early adopter and now me doing that and the two don't fit together. Have we got the other toe hoops over here, Tyler? No, but they were the same thickness at the top and bottom, and you can see they will clash. So we've got those. Right, another little thing. Look at what Zach's been working on. We've got the rear step cover that we had skateboard tape on, and we've now made a plastic cover to go over that that matches. So we've got this rear step, um, which you could use with or without this rear bumper cover. Oh, look, Tyler, we've got a bit of squidgeage. We'll get the baby wipes. Got the baby wipes. Stop. Right, so baby wipes. Uh -huh, and just get that little bit out there. Make sure there's nothing visible. And there we go. That is it. Our rear bumper step cover done. Um, put your comments if you buy it. If there's any ways we can tweak it, any other products you want or feedback, put it in the comments below. We'll put the link to buy this in the description and we'll get those on the website. Good luck with that.